In this problem, we're going to use synthetic division in the remainder theorem to find f of 2 when f of x equals 3x cubed minus 4x squared minus 5x plus 8. One way to find f of 2 is just plug 2 in for every x in the definition of f. But the method we're going to use in this problem it requires fewer arithmetic operations than plugging 2 into this equation. So let's take a look at the remainder theorem. The remainder theorem states that if the polynomial f of x is divided by x minus c, then the remainder is f of c. Please note the change in sign. My divisor is x minus c, but the remainder is f of c. So since I'm trying to find f of 2, I'm going to have to take f of x and divide it by x minus 2. And I'm going to do that by synthetic division. And when you do synthetic division, what number do you put in the box on the top left? It's not negative 2, it is positive 2 because it's the 0 associated with this factor. Next, we need to check f of x for missing terms. I have an x cubed, x squared, x, and a constant. There are no missing terms. So I'm ready to write f of x here, but remember, we don't write the x's. We just strip off the coefficients and use the constant term. So I'm going to have 3, negative 4, negative 5, and 8. Leave a little room, draw your bar. Bring down the first number, the 3, as is. Then we multiply 2 times 3 and write the answer up there. 2 times 3 is 6. Add these two numbers, negative 4 and 6 is positive 2. Repeat the process. 2 times 2, we're going to write the answer up there. So 2 times 2 is 4. Add negative 5 and 4, you get negative 1. Last one, I don't think I'm going to draw arrows, it'll get too confusing. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Add these two numbers, 8 added to a negative 2 is 6. Now all we have to do is interpret our answer. 6 is the remainder. And if we needed it, the quotient is right here. And even though it doesn't look like a quotient, remember this was an x cubed term. Therefore, the degree of this term is 1 less than this term, so it would be 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. But in this case, we don't need the quotient. All we need is the remainder. So f of 2 is equal to our remainder over here of 6.